हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीवन आई एम शशांक एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन इंग्लिश मीडियम प्रेप बाय एग्जामपुर व्हिच इज द ऑफिशियल इंग्लिश मीडियम चैनल ऑफ एग्जामपुर सो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन एंड एज वी नो कि वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द जे एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ दैट इज जूनियर कोर्ट असिस्टेंट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो this will be a mix question practice series so this will be a mix back series in which the question will be of the different segments so students very good evening and now let's start the session so this session is exclusively for jca that is junior court assistant of supreme court and also that you will find it is equally helpful for your ssc and ssc cgl cpo and chsl examination so students let's start the session and here is the first question that is before you the question before you is ki the description of fundamental right it is mentioned in which article article 12 to 35 13 to 36 12 to 32 or 36 to 51 so the description of fundamental rights it is mentioned in which article so guys first of all if i talk about the fundamental rights fundamental rights it is defined in part 3 of the indian constitution let me change the color of the pen guys so it is defined in part 3 of the indian constitution one second fundamental rights it is defined in part 3 of the indian constitution and from article 12 to 35 so from article 12 to 35 that is the fundamental rights and fundamental rights it is also called magna carta of indian constitution so fundamental rights is also known as magna carta of indian constitution magna carta of indian constitution and it is adopted from usa so in indian constitution we adopted this fundamental right from usa therefore correct answer will be option a that is article 12 to 35 so i hope guys it should be clear to everyone that is article 12 to 35 we have the fundamental rights and the king john of england is called father of fundamental rights so king john of england is called father of fundamental rights therefore correct answer will be guys option a so correct answer will be option a that is article 12 to article 35 now guys let's move to the next question the next question is ki the president salary and allowances that is given by so from where the president of india gets the salary and allowances is it consolidated fund of india consolidated fund of the state contingency fund of the india or both a and b so from where the president of india gets the salary okay guys now let's see the correct answer c first of all president of india so president it is defined in part 5 from article 52 to 62 and the salary of the president that is 5 lakh rupees per annum sorry per month not per annum this is 5 lakh rupees per month and that comes from the consolidated so that is charged from the consolidated fund of india so correct answer will be guys option a that is consolidated fund and if i talk about this consolidated fund guys the article of the consolidated fund is article 266 clause 1 so article 266 clause 1 it is the article of consolidated fund of india if i talk about consolidated fund of state the salary of governor salary of governor that is 3.5 lakh 
पर मंथ दैट कम्स फ्रॉम द कंसोलिडेटेड फंड ऑफ द स्टेट एंड कंटीजेंसी फंड इट इज इमरजेंसी फंड इमरजेंसी फंड दैट इज डिस्कस्ड इन आर्टिकल 267 आर्टिकल 267 गाइस एंड इट इज हेल्ड बाय प्रेसिडेंट and operated by finance secretary held by president and operated by finance secretary therefore guys correct answer will be option a that is consolidated fund of india from where the salary and allowances of president is given therefore correct answer will be option a now come to the next question the next question we have ki which of the following articles of the constitution prohibits human trafficking and beggar system so which article of the indian constitution prohibits human trafficking and beggar is it article 17 article 19 article 23 or article 14 so which article prohibits the human trafficking and beggar system okay now guys let's see the correct answer first of all guys the correct answer will be article 23 and it is under right against exploitation it is right against exploitation and if i talk about right against exploitation that is defined in article 23 and 24 Article twenty three and twenty four, so that is defined in Article twenty three. Article seventeen, it is prohibition of or abolition of untouchability. Better to write abolition. Abolition of untouchability. Article nineteen, six democratic freedom. then article 14 that is equality before law and equal protection of laws equality before law that we have adopted from britain and equal protection of law from us therefore correct answer will be guys option c that is article 23 and human trafficking simply means ki to treat the person as product so to illegal transportation human trafficking illegal transportation of human being of human beings and beggar system that means forced labor without payment forced labor without payment so correct answer will be option c and beggar system it is sometimes also called loan known as bonded laborers so they are also known as bonded labor therefore correct answer will be guys option c that is article 23 now which article of the indian constitution provides free and compulsory education to children up to the age group of 6 to 14 years so through which article of the indian constitution ensures to provide free and compulsory education to children between the age group of 6 to 14 years so <clears throat> what will be the correct answer guys
ओके वॉट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर सी आर्टिकल दैट इज फ्री एंड कंपलसरी एडुकेशन टू चिल्ड्रेन अप टू द एज ग्रुप ऑफ सिक्स टू फोर्टीन ईयर सो दैट इज राइट टू एडुकेशन सो दिस आर्टिकल फ्री एंड कंपलसरी एडुकेशन टू चिल्ड्रेन अप टू द एज ग्रुप ऑफ सिक्स टू फोर्टीन ईयर दैट इज राइट टू एडुकेशन राइट टू एडुकेशन एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट राइट टू एडुकेशन दैट इज मैंशन इन आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन ए ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड इट वॉज एडेड टू एटी सिक्स अमेंडमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड टू सो इट वॉज एडेड थ्रू एटी सिक्स अमेंडमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड टू एंड दिस इज मैंशन इन आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन ए सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन ए एंड आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन इट इज राइट टू लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी राइट टू लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी देन आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्रीडम टू फॉलो प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रोफेस वंस ओन रिलीजन and article 18 that is abolition of titles abolition of titles therefore correct answer will be guys option a b that is article 21 a it was added through it is 6th amendment act 2020 2002 so correct answer will be guys option b now come to the next question ki who among the following introduced the famous persian festival navroz so which of the following introduced the famous persian festival navroz is it balban iltutmish firoz shah tughlaq or alauddin khilji so who introduced the famous festival of navroz navroz persian festival guys navroz it is a persian festival persian festival that is the new year Persian New Year, that is Navroz, and Persian New Year Navroz that was introduced by Balban. So Balban introduced the Persian New Year festival that was Navroz, and El Tutmish introduced Tanka and Jital. Two coins, Tanka and Jital, and Tanka was made of silver. Jital, that was of copper. and one tanka was equal to 48 jital therefore correct answer will be option a alauddin khilji famous for market control policy market control policy in firoz shah tughlaq he was the person who is also known as the builder king in delhi sultanat and only sultan of delhi sultanat who wrote his autobiography who wrote his who wrote his autobiography that is fotuhate firoz shah फिरोज शाही देर फोर करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज बलबन नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द डेथ ऑफ विच मुगल मुस्लिम रूलर हिस्टोरियन सेट के किंग वॉज फ्रीड फ्रॉम हिस पीपल एंड पीपल दे वर फ्रीड फ्रॉम द किंग सो हुज डेथ दिस स्टेटमेंट वॉज गिवेन बाई हिस्टोरियन की पीपल दे वर फ्रीड फ्रॉम द किंग एंड किंग वॉज ऑल्सो फ्रीड फ्रॉम हिस पीपल एज एट बलबन मोहम्मद बिन तुगलक अलाउद्दीन खिलजी और शेर शाह सूरी सो गाइज दिस स्टेटमेंट फॉर दिस स्टेटमेंट वॉज गिवेन फॉर मोहम्मद बिन तुगलक थर्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टीन फिफ्टी वन एटी बिकॉज इट इज सेट दैट की ही वॉज द वाइजेस्ट फूल 
wisest fool king so this was the title that was given by historians that is wisest fool although he was the most literate sultan of delhi sultanate most literate sultan of delhi sultanate and alauddin khilji was completely illiterate therefore correct answer will be guys option b that is muhammad bin tughlaq and sher shah suri 1540 to 1545 therefore correct answer will be guys option b that is muhammad bin tughlaq now come to the next question ki 13 february is celebrated as women's day every year in the memory of so 13th february it is the birthday of which personality is it indira gandhi kamala nehru sarojini naidu or rani lakshmi bai so 13th february it is the <coughs> birthday of which personality so guys correct answer will be sarojini naidu so sarojini naidu this is the birthday of sarojini naidu that is celebrated as women's day in india and sarojini naidu first indian female president of indian national congress she became the president in 1925 kanpur session then she was the first female governor of any state of india and she was the governor of uttar pradesh governor of uttar pradesh therefore correct answer will be guys option c that is sarojini naidu so correct answer will be guys option c that is sarojini naidu now under the constitution of india who is the guardian of fundamental rights so who is called the guardian of fundamental rights in india is it parliament president supreme court or the cabinet so who is known as the guardian of fundamental rights so fundamental right guardian who is known as guardian of fundamental rights guys guardian of the fundamental right or simply you can say the custodian custodian of fundamental rights so it is the president of it it is the supreme court sorry not the president supreme court out of this given option so correct answer will be supreme court because in case of hamper of fundamental right in case of hamper of fundamental rights person can directly approach to supreme court through article 32 so out of this thing guys correct answer will be option c that is the guardian of fundamental right is the supreme court and also high court so supreme court and high courts they are guardian of fundamental right because supreme court can issue writ through article 32 high court can issue the writ through article 226 so correct answer will be guys option c that is supreme court now guys come to the next question next question is ki the committee that was appointed in 1985 to review the panchayati raj working of panchayati raj system was chaired by so actually guys this committee was not there to review so it was there to give the recommendation actually it was not to review it was there to give recommendation for constitutional status status of panchayat so this committee was guys that was constituted in 1985 that was gvk rao committee so gvk rao committee lm singhvi 
अशोक मेहता 1977, बलवंत राय मेहता 1957. सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज जी वी के राव कमिटी दैट वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड फॉर पंचायती राज सिस्टम दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर द बैग्स तो बलवंत राय मेहता अशोक मेहता जी वी के राव एल एम सिंह भी नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन नाइनटीन एटी फाइव एंड नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स देर फोर करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज जीवी के राव कमिटी नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आउट ऑफ दिस फोर ऑप्शन विच इज नॉट करेक्टली मैच is it mahakal temple that is in ujjain shringeri math that is in chikmangalur sun temple that is in konark or lingaraj temple that is in puri so which of the following is not correctly matched which of the following is guys not correctly matched okay let's see the correct answer hmm i think guys most of you might be confused between shringeri and lingaraj temple because the first for a and c they are very common temples we know about these two temples very much so guys correct answer will be lingaraj temple that is in not in puri that is in bhuvaneswar and shringeri math that is in chikmangalur it is in karnatak and it is the math that was established by adi guru shankaracharya so adi guru shankaracharya established this श्रृंगेरी टेम श्रृंगेरी मठ दैट इज इन चिकमंग दैट इज इन कर्नाटका महाकाल टेम्पल दैट इज वेरी फेमस टेम्पल ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा इट इज अ वेरी फेमस टेम्पल ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा दैट इज इन उज्जैन श्रृंगेरी मठ दैट इज इन चिकमंगलूर स्वर्ण कोणार्क टेम्पल सन टेम्पल दैट इज इन कोणार्क दैट इज इन उड़ीसा एंड लिंगराज टेम्पल दैट इज ऑल्सो इन भुवनेश्वर and the very famous temple that is jagannath jagannath temple that is in puri and this jagannath temple it is also called white pagoda and this sun temple it is called black pagoda therefore correct answer will be guys option d that is lingaraj temple that is the temple of lord shiva so this temple is dedicated to lord shiva so correct answer will be option d that is lingaraj temple that is not in puri it is in bhuvaneswar now dash without duties the like they are dash men without shadow so what without duties are like men without shadow guys so quickly answer this question dash without duties like men without shadow dash without duties are like men without shadow is it belief right moral or work so what will be the correct answer correct answer will be guys option b that is rights so rights without duties are like men without shadow so rights without duties because rights and duties rights and duties they are parallel to one another parallel to one another therefore correct answer will be option b that is rights if you have right then you must have duty and if you have duties then you must have the rights as well so correct answer will be guys option b that is the rights without duties that are they are like men without shadow now which of the following rates is regarded as the greatest safeguard for the liberty of a person so which of the following rates it is a important rate regarding the liberty that means independency of a person liberty simply means independency of a person mandamus habeas corpus certiorari or co warranto so 
so what will be the correct answer dash without uh, which is it is the greatest safeguard for the liberty of the person guys correct answer will be habeas corpus because it means ki to present the body of detained person to present the body of the detained person if the person is detained illegally the court will order to present the body of the detained person mandamus means to command certiorari means to be informed or certified and co warranto means ki what is your authority and this guys writ habeas corpus it is applicable in both private entities and public entities so it is applicable in private entity plus public entity mandamus it is only for public entities public entity means public government services certiorari it is a judicial writ it is a judicial writ in nature therefore guys and co warranto that is also for the public authority better to write authority in place of entity so it is better to write authority public authority okay so correct answer will be guys option b that is habeas corpus now come to the next question ki right to privacy it is protected under which article so right to privacy it is protected under which article article 14 article 17 article 21 or article 24 so right to privacy it is protected under which article okay guys if i talk about right to privacy that is under article 21 so that is right to life and personal liberty and under personal liberty guys you have right to privacy therefore correct answer will be option c that is article 21 and article 20 and 21 cannot be suspended through during emergency also article 20 and 21 can't be suspended during emergency can't be suspended during emergency so correct answer will be option c now which of the following has given power to enforce the fundamental right so which of the following authority has the power to enforce the fundamental right is it all the courts of india president parliament or supreme court and high court so which authority has power to enforce the fundamental rights okay all courts of india president parliament or supreme court or high court guys if i talk about the authority who can enforce the fundamental right it is supreme court and high courts because two courts they can issue writs they can issue writs for enforcement and safeguard of fundamental rights supreme court through article 
and high court through article 226 and all the courts why because in all courts we have supreme court high courts and subordinate courts and subordinate court don't have power to issue rates don't have power to issue rates therefore correct answer will be guys option d that is supreme court and high courts okay so students first of all with this we come to the end of our today's session and this is the session plan of our youtube english medium prep by example session plan so the session will start 8 am with english 9 am with reasoning science at 10 GA on 11 and maths on 12 noon and we have also started a special batch for JCA that is the junior court assistant in supreme court. For this we have a English session at 1, science at 2, reasoning at 3, maths at 4 and general awareness at 5 pm. So guys this is the study plan of our of our English medium prep by example which is an exclusive English medium channel. So that was all for the day guys let's meet in our regular session. Till then, bye-bye everyone. Do take very good care of yourself.